It's Memorial Day. Yes. 2024. Yes. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Robert Johnson, retired Air Force, R-O-B-E-R-T, J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Uh, what was your service in the I, U.S.? I was in the U.S. Air Force. I served 21 years as an electronics engineer in the space business and telecommunications. Oh, oh. I, I had, uh, I was mainly a development engineer, but I had one operational tour in Northern California. I didn't fly planes, but I flew satellites. We operated satellites. Oh, boy. And probably my best Air Force assignment was in Spain at Torrejon Air Base. I lived in Madrid. I grew up in Argentina, so I was fluent in Spanish. Oh, yeah. I used my Spanish and traveled all over Spain in the early 70s when it was very, very reasonable to live there. I, I belong to the American Legion. I'm a past commander of American Legion Post 8 in Los Angeles, which is one of the first posts founded in the United States in 1919. Where is it? It's at Patriotic Hall oh. on downtown Los Angeles, oh. a beautiful building. If you haven't ever been there, it's on Figaro Street, yeah. just uh, uh, north of Washington Boulevard. Yeah, it's like a movie set. It's like a movie set. A lot of movies filmed there. Beautiful building with uh, wonderful uh, uh, first floor with murals, and the top floor has a balcony with columns on it that you can see views around Los Angeles. Uh, you know, M Memorial Day is, is always a, a very solemn uh, commemoration in the United States, regardless of uh, what's going on politically. I think our, our elected officials are always very uh, 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 conservative in, in what they say, because uh, we're remembering our fallen. Uh, I'm here, right here at the Columbarium at LA National Cemetery to uh, remember my wife who passed away in 2022 and she was buried at sea but I have a plaque in the Columbarium in her honor which I came over to see after the ceremony. How many times have you been out to this event? Uh, many years. I try to come every year for a long time except during COVID they didn't have it right. and I happened to take in the ceremony at Miramar National Cemetery yesterday also. Is that near San Diego? Yes, it's north of San Diego, about 15 miles. Uh -huh. What was that like? Well, they had uh, about 400 people, and they were also uh, commemorating the upcoming 80th anniversary of D-Day on June 6th, and they had four World War II veterans there, three of which served in the European theater, and two of them are going back to Normandy for the 80th anniversary. Uh -huh. When will that be? Uh, there's two groups going, two big groups going. One is sponsored by the Best Defense Foundation that are, and Delta Airlines are taking 50. Another big group is being taken by American Airlines. They have, I guess, almost 60. But I understand there may be close to 100 World War II veterans in Normandy for, for the big commemoration on June 6th. Uh -huh. It would be good if you could go. I'm going. Oh. Uh, I'm going with the Best Defense Foundation Delta Airlines group. And uh, I'm flying out on... May 31st, a couple of days from now, with a World War II veteran who served on the battleship Nevada in Normandy and also in the Pacific. He's 99. And I'm so pumped up because June 6th is going to be my 79th birthday, and I'm spending it on Omaha Beach. Oh, my goodness. Well, where is the cemetery? Or are there a couple? Uh, well, there's a, a number of American cemeteries in France and Belgium. The the one at Omaha Beach is called Colville sur Mer, and and that's where the big ceremony with all the heads of state are coming. So I understand there might be 20 heads of state coming, including President Biden and the French French President Macron. Uh, uh, King Charles is going to be there, and a number of other dignitaries. That's terrific. Columbarium. This is called a columbarium, where the, those that are cremated uh, can be given a niche where the remains are put in. My wife was buried at sea, but they allowed spouses to have a plaque uh, along the wall of the columbarium, which I was I was very pleased to learn about. Wonderful. Well, happy 79th birthday. Thank you very much. Yeah, and uh, we hope to see you back here next year. Yes, I try to come here every single year.